Thank you, Ms. Frost, for agreeing to talk to us about your research in the school archives and the role of women locally. That's okay. What have you discovered about the history of the school through looking through the archives? Um, I found lots of different artefacts from, from back in the day when the school first started. Um, so I found lots of old photos of the teachers and the pupils at the time, how the uniforms changed over the years. Um, I've also found um, Miss Radford's accounts book. Um, so she was the first headmistress right around the time of the suffragette movement. Um, and here you can see what the school paid for groceries, um, what they paid at the butchers, the baker, fishmonger, um, and the coal merchant, which would have which would have been used to keep the school warm. It's very different to nowadays. Um, but I was really surprised at how much has been kept um, down there, which is lovely. Have the subjects that have studied changed? Um, not hugely. Um, the main subjects like science and maths and English. Um, geography, they are all taught, um, but not so much religious studies or art. So nowadays you get to learn you know, a lot more about um, world cultures and religions and express yourself in art, so very different to how it was then. Did the girls always do sport? If so, what? Yes, I believe so. So right from the word go in 1900, the girls played lots of sport, probably a similar amount to, to nowadays. Um, so hockey, tennis, um, netball, badminton, um, and they would also play against other schools, local schools, much much the same as nowadays, um, and also play into house or into hall as we now call it. So um, not much has changed sport wise at all. From what you've seen in the archives, when did the girls get the most freedom? Um, in my opinion, I think it's nowadays, um, simply because. Um, how the school is now and kind of um, cultural wise um, you have the you know the opportunity to be who you want to be individual and you're not kind of restricted to, to a certain box which I think back in the day it was more like that thank you very much back to the